There's a sharp contrast between Zimbabwe today and its more affluent neighbor. Forty years ago, the roles were reversed. But since gaining independence from Britain in 1966, Botswana has come to be called the gem of Africa. By maintaining free elections, free markets, and the rule of law, Botswana is an African success story. It's not in our nature to boast, but uh, if you would permit me uh, to break with the tradition and say that, uh, you know, fortunately, our economy has consistently done extremely well over the years. And therefore, the standard of living in this part of Southern Africa, uh, indeed, as in other places around, uh, is, is much better than in, in any other places. Today, Botswana has the fastest growing economy in the world, fueled by diamond mines, a cattle export industry, and thriving tourism that exploits the natural assets of an underpopulated country. Yet it's not immune to the hazards facing many African nations. Despite its clean cities and well-stocked stores, Botswana has 23% unemployment, and more than one-third of its population is infected with HIV. So the relative stability of Botswana is vulnerable to a mass influx of refugees from across the border. We are a population of 1,7 million people, and we are surrounded by millions of inhabitants of the countries that uh, surround us. And uh, if we were to allow, uh, you know, open up our borders and allow people to come in, in no time we'll be swamped up. We cannot just suddenly wake up one morning and find that uh, some 200,000 are being injected into our societies. There will be absolute chaos. In 2003, Botswana's president vowed to crack down on illegal migration, and his defense forces have acted. Soldiers fan out to intercept border jumpers in the long stretches of empty land near the border fence. Patrols are constantly in action. At night, raiding patrols regularly sweep through the streets of Francistown, the city closest to the border. Dealing with illegal immigrants is straining Botswana's security forces. On one weekend alone, 4,000 of them were swept up in a series of raids. With a total capacity of fewer than 3,500 inmates, Botswana's prison system all but collapsed under the weight. 